This episode was sponsored by Surfshark. Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl here. And today's video, I'm gonna kind of show you my daily workflow, both on my MacBook Pro, and this applies to most of the computers I'm on. So say my iMac behind me, even my PC off to the side, which I do stream on. This is kind of my daily routine because I know a lot of you have asked how I do manage my time. So I'll kind of break down what I start doing once I get here into my studio and how that progresses. So I'll kind of share my screen here and we'll kind of go through exactly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And the first thing that I'm kind of greeted with when I log into any of my computers, you can see behind me as well, I am the biggest Porsche fan. So I always try to have a Porsche wallpaper. I'll leave them linked down below. And this one here specifically is my exact spec. So it's a chalk 991.2 GTS. Obviously I wish I could sit in front of this cool Mayan rune we see off to the side. But the first thing that I do, Every single morning, I kind of just check my reminders app. And this is actually just a stock app from Apple. It's kind of my to-do list for the day. So you can see my current to-do list and I've left some of these items here just so I can kind of check them off and show you. It's so simple to use. So for example, last week during Techtober, we had the Amazon Prime Day. I got my Microsoft laptop video out. We've got all the iPhone videos out, OnePlus 8T, Pixel 5 review. This is currently what I'm working on now. So after this video is over, I can check this off and you can kind of see the hint for next week, the next gen Xbox. And the next app that I usually check slash glance at at the beginning of the day is just the stocks app. And once again, just normal from Apple. I'm definitely not a day trader, so I don't need anything too complicated. I just kind of invest some of my money into say companies I believe in, and I kind of just let that sit there and hold. So you can kind of see my portfolio here. No surprise, Apple is one of them. I've got AMD, Amazon, and the list kind of goes on and on. And when I do decide to say actually trade something, most of them are through an app called Wealth Simple, which I'll also leave a little code down below you can check out. I think if you sign up, you get 10 bucks off of your first stock option. Remember, I'm in no means an expert. I'm just kind of sharing my portfolio. I really do believe in tech, especially this year. As we move through this entire pandemic, a lot of things are shifting to the online space if they weren't already. Switching on over from there, I do check my emails and this app, an email app, whoever thought, is the item that I am in the most. I spend most of my day actually emailing with companies, people that are trying to send me tech stuff. And for whatever reason, I've just been sucked into the Microsoft Office game. So I do have a Microsoft 365 membership. It kind of gives me the full access to all of Microsoft's apps. And like I mentioned, since I am part of the Microsoft suite, Microsoft Word, I do use this surprisingly a lot, mostly to make my video tags. So every YouTube video that I make, you get around 500 characters and I try to maximize those fully. This is kind of where I enter my tags. I do do a bit of research beforehand, but I know some people have mentioned they use SEMs and that stands for, I think, search engine marketing. I haven't got into that space too heavy yet. So if any of you have suggestions, you know where to leave them down below. And the next app that we're gonna get to is Final Cut Pro. And we'll quickly close my little to-do list here and we'll make this full screen to show you guys. So Final Cut Pro is the main editing app that I use. Once again, spend a lot of time in here. I edit all of my own YouTube videos, but you can kind of see my workflow here. I have most of my A-roll shot kind of as my main timeline. All of my B-roll or secondary cam is kind of placed over top. And I did want to share some of the plugins that I use. For example, this little call out here is from Motion VFX. So if I actually play through, this is called the Messenger Callout. And you can see here, I've left this little note for you guys. So leave a comment on your favorite color. Follow me on Instagram. That was from my last iPhone colors video. Motion VFX though has been great. They have so many different plugins that you can choose from. So some great transitions. For example, this cross wipe, we'll kind of place it on the timeline. We'll make it a bit shorter. And if we play through this clip, you can kind of see how it moves from frame to frame and switches nice and seamlessly, 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 seamlessly. seamlessly. Moving on over to say my thumbnail game or a lot of my Instagram photos, I am a big Photoshop user. So that's where I make all of my edits. So you can see I'm pulling up one of my previous photos that I just posted on Instagram, a little campaign for say Heineken. Um, so in this particular photo, for example, the client requested that the Heineken bottle actually be made a bit brighter. So you can see here, it's a bit dark. So that's looking a bit better. And once that's tweaked, I might bring it into say Lightroom on my phone to apply a preset, pretty simple workflow. Once again, 
I'm no expert in Photoshop. It's just small little tweaks here and there that I make to most of my photos. The next app that I use is actually an app, say, on your smartphone, on your tablet, but on, say, a computer. It's actually DAZN. This is where I watch all of my sports, mostly soccer, football, which I actually call it. I'll usually have my desktop set up like this where I'll have a game streaming in the corner while I'm doing some of the more mundane edits in Final Cut. And the last app that I use, I know that they're today's video sponsor, but I do use VPNs on a daily basis. And I know that most of us that are now working from home rely on them more than ever. So this one is called Surfshark. It's super simple to use. And as with all VPNs, you mask your online identity and you can see some of the previous locations that I've actually connected through. Usually the US, you can see now that I am fully connected for the past, say three seconds. And from there, I can now kind of browse the net anonymously. So that's always great. It helps keep your data safe, you can block ads, and I use this actually to really good effect on Amazon Prime Day last week. Since I do live here in Canada, I was still able to browse all of the Amazon US deals since they tend to be better. Same kind of thing for accessing Netflix. I think you guys down south of the border have better shows. And those are obviously some of the benefits of using a VPN. And Surfshark is actually one of the only VPNs that you can access across multiple devices and unlimited devices. And that's actually very useful for me, seeing all the devices I have here in the studio. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below. You can use the code Carl Conrad to get 83% off plus an additional three months for free. And you've got 30 days to try it out. And if you don't like it, you can get all of your money back. So there's no real risk. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my walkthrough and my day-to-day -day life on my computer, the time behind the screen. Just kind of sharing my day-to-day -day life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, took a few tips from it. And if you have any productivity tips for me, leave them down below and maybe I can implement them into my daily life. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids or vlogs. Peace.